Gingival recession, or receded gums, can be a significant dental problem. It typically happens on teeth which have thin overlying soft tissue and or bone, or are unfavorably located in the dental arch, either tipped or displaced entirely toward the lip or tongue, such that the tooth supporting bone on one side is too thin to provide adequate support for the gingiva. Gingival recession may be aggravated by regular aggressive brushing and clenching and grinding or bruxism particularly if the upper and lower teeth are improperly aligned, which may cause off-axis tipping forces between the misaligned teeth. It can also be caused by prolonged gingival inflammation, which weakens the attachment of the gingiva to the teeth and bone. In patients with advanced periodontal disease, gingival recession may be surgically created on purpose in order to reduce the depth of the gum pockets around the affected teeth. Although surgically created gingival recession may be viewed as unappealing, it allows the patient proper access for cleaning around the teeth. Gingival recession is generally of concern for one of these reasons. Exposed tooth roots can be very sensitive, particularly to cold temperatures and sweets. Exposed tooth roots are more vulnerable to cavities because they're softer and more porous than tooth enamel. This is especially true in patients with chronic dry mouth or xerostomia. If there is insufficient keratinized tissue around the necks of the teeth to resist toothbrushing and food abrasion over time, gingival recession and bone loss can progress to the point where teeth are lost. Gingival recession that is due to periodontal disease may lead to tooth loss, pathologic migration of poorly stabilized teeth, and poor general health. Gingival recession that is due solely to the position of the teeth in the dental arches is sometimes self-limiting, with the gums receding only to the point where the underlying bone volume is sufficient to support the gingiva over it. If the level of recession stabilizes, sensitivity may also resolve on its own, as minerals from saliva and toothpaste seal the pores in the exposed root surface.